Hi, this is Crime and Partner, and welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Now, in the last video, I beat the game. But now you're wondering, well, you know, what else is there to do? Well, you know, since beating the game, I've actually unlocked the ability to do a few things. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and show them to you. So without any further ado, let's hit the first spot. Okay, we are at our first stop. Um, this is the area where the Paranthropus was over in the inverted castle of the outer wall, as you can see on the map. Now, I have mentioned Ring of Vardos this and that throughout a ton of little videos here and there. And, you know, until now, I could never get them. Now, I've already gotten a few rings, so I just wanted to show you just to give you an idea how sick this thing is. Okay, I mean, you can see my stats. You can see I have an attack of 108 and a defense of 57, and that's with the best equipment, okay? So when I look at the Ring of Varda, I look at that description, and I'll look at the stats just shooting up on the right. So anyway, that's just one. So I go from 108 attack and 57 to 140 to 60 and 67. How about if we put two on? Look at that. So my attack went from 108 to 172, and I gained, what, 20 defense as well? I mean, that's a huge, huge, huge jump. And so, I mean, with that, I mean, that's, that's 80 more damage a hit. And again, you know, this weapon hits four times or so every time you hit the attack button. Sick, man. Okay. With that out of the way, we will go to the next area. Okay, so we're back in front of the long library, right in front of the, the master librarian, and you also notice I have my sword familiar equipped. Well, I'm going to show you one of the other spells I never used called the Sword Brothers. In order to do it, you go down, down forward, forward, forward up, up, you hold up for about two or three seconds, and then you hit down in your attack button at the same time, and it'll cause it to do the Sword Brothers spell. Now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do the spell and while the spell's going off, I'm going to talk to the librarian. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me get right here and cast the spell. Here, and I'll go ahead and talk to the librarian. And while I'm doing that, I can actually... Well, let's see, I have what, four diamonds? I'm going to sell three of them. Thank you. Put one here. And I can actually go into my menu. You cannot normally do this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to equip that one diamond I have. Now I'm going to sell the one diamond. Thank you. But somehow it still says I have the diamond equipped and if you notice, now all of a sudden the number of diamonds I have is 255. So we'll, we'll de-equip it. And if we leave the screen and go back to sell, it says the number is E5 for 255 in hex format. So I've got, what, here, here's 50 diamonds I'm going to sell. Bam, I'm at max money. Uh, doing that, I can actually, I can buy anything he's got. Um, in particular, I want to show you the item he got that you can now buy because we beat the game. The duplicator. I'm going to buy one of those. Now this was also the item I mentioned that lowers your stats to use to level up the Muramasa in the octopus room. But if we equip the duplicator, well, look at it, duplicates use items. What that means is every one of those like expendable weapons, like the bombs, the ninja stars, uh, you can use it with food and make an unlimited, you know, eat the food unlimited amount of times. If you use it with the meal ticket, you can keep making food over and over to pick up. I mean, it, the sky's the limit. You could be a ninja throwing ninja stars, you could be some crazy dynamite man. You know, whatever you want. Anyway, while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and show you the Power of Sire, the one I said there was only three in the game. And when you use it, I can now use it in a limited amount of times. Over and over and over. So, using this setup, you could actually just run through the game and just spam these things. You may also notice it's, it's got a picture uh, while it's going on. That's actually a, a picture of the historical vlog of the Tepis. I think if you actually look online, you can find a work of art that kind of looks like that. Anyway, with that out of the way, we will go to our next secret. Okay, so you'll see I'm back at the file select screen, and if I go to file select, as you notice here is the save that now says clear, but you'll also see it says input Richter the play as Richter Belmont. 
So if we choose a new game and we punch in, uh, what is it? R I T H T E R and use that as our name. We can play the game as Richter. You can do all the little bat move, the little flip thing. Um, if you go down up jump, he does this. Um, he can do the blade dash, which I really don't remember off the top of my head. But anyway, you can play the whole game as Richter. Um, you know, abusing item crashes like the, the Hydro Storm, whatever you want. Um, most secrets have been replaced with either heart max ups, which just refill his hearts, or life max ups, which actually give him more health. Okay, we're back at the file selection screen. Um, there's actually more things you can input. Um, if you put in axe armor as a new game, you can start the game as normal, but you'll actually have an axe lord armor in your inventory. Uh, not, not really that useful, but kind of cool, I guess. Um, but here's another one you can do. This one's kind of squirrely. If you put your name as X hyphen X uh, exclamation mark V two apostrophes and Q, you will start in luck mode. Now what happens is the game starts normally with the prologue with Richter, but when you actually start the game, your stats are all very, very low. But you start with 99 luck and you have a lapis lazuli. Um, as well. So basically low stats but you'll be getting items out the wazoo. Um, something else that's really cool let me go ahead and show you. So let me go ahead and start the game and I'll uh, get to the point that's that's pretty interesting. Okay so we're in the area right before death um, appears for the first time and as you can see my stats are terrible because of the, the luck thing. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna unequip everything we've got. except for the lapis lazuli. We want to keep that. And this is what we're going to do. You notice that if you jump into the warg at the right angle, I just flew right past where we meet death. Now right now I can't access my menu screen and I've got five health. Now you do not want to fall down here. Okay. So what you do is you get here and you need to kill this guy without dying. If he hits you once you're dead. So anyway, he is dead, and if we go here, go ahead and save. Now after we've saved, I have access to my inventory, and lo and behold, I have access to all of the equipment still. So I'm awesome now. Right at the beginning of the game, even with the crappy stats, I'm going to tear everything up. Um, something you don't want to do though, do not go back to where death was. Not yet at least. If you do, you're going to trigger the scene and you're going to lose all your equipment anyway. What you want to do is you want to go into the, the alchemy laboratory, actually enter it. So once you enter it and you, you go back, you will trigger the, uh, the bloody zombies. As shown. And now with the bloody zombies there, you're going to be good to go. Now, but it's going to be a little different. Okay, if we go down here and we jump down, now we have Squadron Guy Bond there. Now all you got to do is just do enough damage and they'll fly off. And that's basically what happens instead of death. From here on, you are good to go with a great set of gear in your, uh, in your luck mode. Anyway, that concludes all of the things I wanted to show you um, in this little uh, last video for the Let's Play. Um, as a final thing, I'm going to go ahead and play uh, as much as I can of the credits. So, this is Crime and Partner. Thank you for watching my first Let's Play series. I had a, I had a great time doing it. Hope you had a great time watching it. Um, I hope to be doing another one of these in the future sometime once I figure out what I uh, want to do. Anyway, uh, again, thanks for watching. See you next crime.